you know the average single family home real estate in Denver, Colorado is $587,000 over the last 12 months? I'm going to use AI this episode to demonstrate how we can save ourselves $7,000 and increase our return on investments for our single family real estate in Denver, Colorado. Let's go. So as I mentioned, taking a look at historical data from Denver the last 12 months, most importantly, I want to determine whether or not I want to invest now, so for instance, this month or six months from now. And I'll be using supervised learning models, specifically linear regression and predicting out future prices. I'm going to load my scripts. Next, I'm going to load my data set. Taking a look at our data set in January, the price was $590,000. And if we fast forward to December 2024, a couple months ago, we can see that prices have now decreased to $584,914. So over the next last 12 months, we can see that prices have been decreased, and I can see that. Average price over the last 12 months, $587,101. The highest price, $590,115. And then the lowest price, as we can see, is $584,300. Now I want to plot the historical 12 months, Denver housing, family prices, single family real estate, just to have a visualization. And you can see, as I mentioned earlier, that prices decrease from January through February, kind of remains steady through March, then we see a positive correlation in April, and then a decrease in May, then we have another negative relationship correlation in June, prices are decreasing in July throughout the summer, get into August, still decreasing, September decreasing, October decreasing, November, and then we conclude the year with an increase. So taking a look at the big picture, we can definitely see over time that prices appear to be decreasing for single family real estate in Denver, Colorado. And this is a good point to kind of illustrate and knock home that AI specifically supervised learning models have the ability to help us help me save by evaluating historical data and being able to predict with pretty good confidence pretty high confidence that the prices are going to be what they're going to be based off historical data. Now I'm just going to do my 80-20 split and specifically I'm going to derive my linear regression equation and my prediction for the slope and the intercept. So I'm just going to over historical data just so I can see as you can see our actual prices are the black dots indicated on the graph and then my linear regression line is in blue very beautiful now I'm just gonna quickly run through predictions for the next 12 months I want to start in January so I want to predict it out for the rest of 2025 and I want to get my equation and my OLS summary as well. So I can see that my R squared, it's a beautiful model that I just created, 0.868. My adjusted R squared is 0.855. So this tells me that the model is able to predict pretty accurately the future prices based on historical prices. Here's my equation down here. As the next 12 months, for instance, I'm predicting that prices in January last month, $583,226. I'm 
for February, it'll be $582,621. March, etc. We conclude the year, price being $576,712. So as an investor, I kind of see myself that prices are planning to decrease, decrease. So for instance, if we look at summer, we're seeing at 589, and then as we end out the year, 576 thousand dollars seven hundred and twelve so now i just want to make sure that i'm able to add the visualization for those predictions that we just saw so here's the linear progression linear prediction forecast for january so in january taking a look uh, so this is what's available what recently sold in Denver over the last month or 12 12 months I should say perfect so as we can see this sold last month five for four fifty seven it's a five bath three and a half bath over 2,000 square feet. And then the next one that sold recently was 550, January 31st. This was 525. This was 540. This was 550. So we can see like the average, it's around where we computed, where I computed on the right hand side. And then we're looking at what's actually on the market or what was sold recently. Um, as you can see, everything is aligning. This looks great. Oh, this is a beautiful home. Got the backyard. So that was historical. Now, if we look at what's actually available on the market, um, so this is a three bed, two bath. It's four eighty five. Uh, this is a four bed, two bath. It's five sixty five. Um, and what's important to note here is these prices are going to decrease um, based off my model and specifically historical data. So these prices, I'm going to advise. I'm actually going to wait and purchase this. Wait to purchase this summer, June. So these are all great homes, and in conclusion, now I'm just gonna wrap up this study with our cost savings. As I was just demonstrating, the original price that is the average, which is right up here, as you can see, is five hundred and eighty-seven thousand one hundred and one dollars. The future price. This is the future price for the summer which is $580,281, right? So now I just want to compute um, what my percentage saved and then my dollar saved. So my percentage saved is 1.16% and my dollar saved is $6,820. So that's how I'm going to use AI to help save almost $7,000 on my next Denver single family real estate investment. Most importantly, I'm going to be investing this summer given that prices, real estate prices are decreasing. I'm going to invest later in six months when prices are, are lower. My name is Oli. I hope you've enjoyed how AI can save you will save me $7,000. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, take care.